we are working. Long time we didn't record any records, any video, we didn't videotape. But today is the day that we started again. We are milking, because I promised some people that I will show the process, how the milk comes out, is extracted. And we are on it, we are down to nine cows now. Oop, I nearly fell in the shit. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. And we are on it. First step, you have to clean the udder, because you want to have a clean product, you want to have milk without too much bacteria in it. So you take a clean cloth and our bucket because the first few milliliters of milk always has to be stripped out to make sure that the milk is alright and it doesn't have any sides of the infection. Mastitis. That's what we do now. Everything's clean, no sign of any problems. So this car is ready in a short while to be connected. Once this one is empty, you can switch over. buying the milk to make cheese out of it, to make the traditional cheese that they are used to in their home country. And that again makes sense because we can achieve a little bit higher price if we sell directly to private customers and if we say to the, to the factory. The factory pays out around 31, 32 cents per liter. That is really not sustainable. young lady because she has a habit of kicking when you try to remove the machine when you try to milk her she kicks you and it's not very pleasant usually she only hits your arm but 
if it goes to the head, it's a, it's a problem. And this metal lifts up the knee. The, uh, the, 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 the knee fold. I, I can't even tell you the English word. But what happens is that she can't contract her muscles here and she can't kick because of that. Some extra protection. And if you wonder what are we going to do with all this milk that we have gotten in the beginning of the milk process, we have our employee coming all the way from the Gambia to Wolferdingen, Western Germany, to finish it. Right on time. This one's a little bit short. I hope you're not focusing on my socks. This evening our cows are rather clean because they've been out in the meadows all day and it was raining a lot. So if you look at the tail, if you look at the body, well this one is a little bit dirty but in general I think they are fairly clean. As you can see in the morning when they have been standing here all night long in the stable and shitting in place and putting their tail in the same place. It's rather disgusting. So the first job in the morning is to give it a good wash, this thing. And then you start with a wet tail, that means the cows are swinging to get it dry and it most likely ends in your face. But so far we have survived the last 200 years. I think nobody died from a wet tail into his face. But things are coming to an end. I'm not going to continue milking forever and ever. It's a bit pointless, sadly.